own going back through that you learned about your game on Saturday? Um, I would say I probably left at least 10 completions on the field. Uh, made a couple uh, mistakes, obviously, but not not as bad. I think I was, you know, obviously um, a little hard on myself, but I think that's the way it needs to be. Maybe hey, do, do you sense a, a breakthrough? I mean, do you just feel like you're right on the edge of, of breaking through a ball here? Uh, I would say so. You know, I would say so. Our team definitely uh, has a little bit new energy to it. Um, I feel like this past week we were really gelling well. Um, it's definitely bound to happen, happen soon, I, I believe. You know, I, I feel good. Uh, we just need to keep preparing and, and keep believing in ourselves, you know, uh, regardless. Just going to each week knowing we can, we can win this game. So far as like check downs and throwing the ball away, how, how far have you come in that area and how much more improvement do you want to see? Because um, sometimes I know a competitive guy, you don't want to throw it away. You want to try to find the play down the field. Yeah, definitely. Um, I could definitely do a better job of that. I think I've made some progress. Um, I threw the ball a few few times uh, against Wisconsin. There was one time I tried throwing the ball away. I almost got it picked off. Uh, definitely need some improvement in that area and knowing when to find the check down, um, knowing when to throw hot when uh, a blitz is coming. I, I made a mistake on that against Wisconsin as well. Um, definitely room to improve there. I think that just comes with awareness and experience, you know, as, as I progress. How much more confidence do you have in your passing game? Because a lot of freshman quarterbacks look to run instead of to throw. Where's that confidence at right now? Um, I feel very confident uh, in my throwing ability. And I think it, it really goes to my confidence in our receivers and our offensive line and the guys I have around me. You know, I know they can make plays. And I know if I distribute the ball the way I should, you know, uh, we'll be successful offensively. Um, I think we have all the tools to be a really good offense. Where do you feel like you've grown the most as a quarterback this first handful of games? Um, that's a tough question. I would just, I'd probably say uh, a little bit in my confidence, um, you know, knowing I can compete at this level and at a, at a high level, I would say so myself. Um, you know, I think there's a little bit of uncertainty kind of going in uh, for myself. Obviously, the coaches were confident in me. I think my teammates believed in me, but I needed to prove it to myself, and I, I believe I did that. Is there a play where you said, I kind of belong up here? Um, I'd probably say that first touchdown against Colorado. You know, I think that was something that I did in high school, uh, something I knew I was capable of, and it was just me playing football. And... Uh, I realized, you know, I can I could do these things. I needed to be a little bit smarter with some of the way I was running the ball a little bit, and uh, obviously, still need to fix some of my ball security issues that I'm having. Um, but knowing that I can play, play at this level, and and uh, do it well. What's the line between making a play and doing two? Um, I think that just it comes with being aware of the situation uh, with my surroundings on the field in general. Um, Kind of as Coach Verdusco says, he never wants to take away my stinger, uh, you know, as as a quarterback, as a playmaker. But just being smart, um, you know, I, I caught myself doing a little too much on that one fumble there, um, and just knowing knowing what to do in what situation. Oh, you think this is kind of uh, kind of a little bit like you just been asked, but you know, you're 18 years old, uh, starting quarterback in the Big Ten. And you did play last year. You know, given where you're sitting, uh, is this where you thought you'd be? Are you ahead of where you thought you would be? Behind where you thought you'd be? Given all of that. Um, well, given all that I've I've been through, you know, I, I never doubted. I think I'd, I'd get to this point. Um, obviously, with with the surgery, uh, it was a little bit of a, a tough path to this point. But once I got here, I knew the hard work would pay off, and. Um, with the coaches we have here and the guys I have around me, I, I knew uh, what I was capable of, and I still don't think I've reached um, my capabilities. I don't think I'm anywhere near as good as I think I can be in the future. With the, with the knee, do you feel better than you did three weeks ago? Or do you feel about the same? How's that? Oh, yeah, I feel much better. Um, I think the knee brace is as much a precaution as anything else at this point. What's some penalties you guys have gone through, I guess, especially offensively? 
anything that you can point to that you can do differently, or is that you know, just kind of a product of what's going on out there? Um, I think it's something we can improve on as a unit uh, on both sides of the ball in general. Um, just knowing we can't make can't make uh, mistakes like that, it'll really cost us. Uh, it could turn out from being, you know, JD being at the 10 to uh, sending up all the way at the 45, like two downs later. So um, little things like that can make a big difference, especially in the Big Ten uh, when we play quality teams and just know we need to be as efficient as possible. Um, he's just an elusive, fast guy. I think we get some favorable matchups with a with a running back out in the receiver spot or the slot. And um, I think if you watch his get off, man, he looks like a receiver out there. He's just a very athletic person. <laughs> he could really play football, and so uh, you know we're not afraid to put him out there and have him run some routes.